Okay, here's kind of the common area of the apartment complex I live in, in uh, Foshan. Well, someone coming over there, so I'll have to stop it pretty soon. This is, uh, I tried to film it on a rainy day because it's usually pretty crowded. Okay, extra points. What movie is this? Okay, guys, I got some people over tonight uh, in my apartment in Foshan, and we just watched a movie. And some of these guys have been over last 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 semester. We've hung out a few times and watched some movies. Kind of a movie group. So we're gonna go through and let everyone introduce themselves and say something. So Donnie, introduce yourself and say something. Ah, thank you for inviting me. I'm Donald. Yes, it is. I'm better inviting the movies. Of course, I'm biased. Get those? All right. Introduce yourself. Say something to the world. Hey, I'm Season. And it was. It's a funny movie, and I don't want to say. <laughs> okay. I miss, I miss you, Zajit. All right. <coughs> Introduce yourself. Say something. Hey, this is Lawrence. It's it's a nice, uh, nah. It's a very good beer and very exciting movie. It's a very very nice uh day. It's mm -hmm. Introduce yeah. yourself, say something. And, and I'm Bobby, so uh, maybe I hope you all you can live a happy life and enriching your life and don't simply exist, that's all. Hey guys, this is Sean. Uh, I, I got a few words about this movie. It's scary but fantastic. And one more thing is, the girls in these movies are just pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm David, and I don't know how to say. Um, I hope everything is okay. It's all okay. Let's do get in toes. Sure, let's do toes. Why? Why not? Where's the very crowd of beers? So let it get in toes. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Here's the swimming pool. Looks actually kind of cool. It's uh, in my complex, unfortunately. <laughs> not, not allowed to go down there unless you join the gym down there. And uh, I had a friend who joined the gym to go swimming. And then the gym went out of business. <laughs> and she couldn't go swimming. And then someone else bought the gym. But it was under new ownership and she hadn't paid them, so she still couldn't go swimming. Let me see if I could do this. Without stopping, because there's a door over here I wanted to talk about. No one here. All right, now this used to take a card. Doesn't take a card anymore. Bad. Doesn't recognize my face because I never got in there. I'm leaving soon anyway. Just wait for other people to come open the door. But it's annoying. Oh, someone's coming in. I get to go. Hey guys, we're in my apartment building. I'm gonna show you my apartment in a minute. My dog's barking, so I guess I'll go in there. Just being a not a nice dog. Two thousand one. That's my apartment number. And what's funny is my apartment in Beijing. The apartment number was nine eleven. So nine eleven, then two thousand one. She's acting like I've been gone forever. All I did was just go out in the hallway to start recording. So yeah, uh, here's my apartment in Foshan. When I first the first time I came to Foshan uh, was back in, I think, 2015. 
I stayed with a friend of mine. He lived downtown Foshan. I stayed there for a month before I went to work in Guangzhou. So it was after Wuhan, before Guangzhou, and I went and stayed there. Now I live in Xishan area, which is pretty far away. Uh, to give you an example, you can take a subway from Guangzhou to downtown uh, Foshan, but you cannot take a subway anywhere near where I live. You'll actually go through a rural area before you get to here, but it's still part of uh, Foshan. A uh, little book collection, not nowhere near as much as I got back home. Uh, Darth Vader figure, a student of mine. A couple students of mine gave that to me for my birthday last year. I also got uh, a figure from The Devil's Backbone that a former student of mine, uh, a good friend of mine now, gave to me. I've never seen The, the Devil's Backbone, but I do like uh, Guillermo del Toro stuff. And here's my kitchen. Not too terribly big, but it is the biggest kitchen I've ever had in China. And there's actually counters, and <laughs> I could do a little work here. Living room. Uh, new couch cushion. I'm leaving soon, and there's the old couch cushion. I sat on it so much I wore a hole in it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's that. Balcony out there. I'm washing clothes now. Uh, every time I wash clothes, I uh, let the drain run in. That way it cleans up all the dog pee. Because the dogs pee and poop out there. This is the biggest and nicest apartment I've ever had in China. I quite like it. Uh, some booze. A student of mine that I helped online with, with IELTS, she bought me this Patron a couple years ago. As you can see, I don't drink it much, but it's getting near gone. This is some Chinese liquor. I don't know what it's called. It's very strong. So I rarely touch it. Another student of mine gave that to me when I was in Nanjing. It's almost full. I got this a few years ago, I think, at the airport. Uh, <laughs> it's Johnny Walker, but it's also Game of Thrones White Walker Johnny Walker. I guess Game of Thrones had a tie-in with some liquor companies because there was a Stark one, a Lannister one, but I already like Johnny Walker, so I got this one. Apparently, when you freeze it, uh, a white walker will show up, but I've never put it in the freezer. So, never tried that. Uh, it's not open, and I'll probably never open. I don't know if I'll be able to take it home, but it's more of a collection than something I'm actually going to drink. Bathroom. Uh, <laughs> no shower curtain between the shower and the toilet area. About half the apartments I've lived in in China don't haven't had a shower curtain, so I, I got used to that. Toilet is a western toilet. Uh, my first apartment in, in Wuhan, the toilet was just a hole in the ground. And I will never, never do that again. Uh, I thought I could deal with it, but you know, on days when your stomach's not feeling well, <laughs> that is not fun uh, to just be squatting on the ground. Here's a guest room. Uh, I use this as my little office on a rare occasion when a friend from out of town comes over. They'll, they'll stay in here. Here's where I do a lot of schoolwork. And right there, sitting in this chair, I wrote an entire novel. I mean, I've been here three years, so uh, yeah. And a number of short stories and a lot of schoolwork. And another former student gave me this ship. That I don't really collect stuff like that, but I got it. Here's the bedroom. Uh, oh yeah, here's Sting. I thought this was cool. Same guy who gave me the uh, <laughs> Guillermo del Toro toy got me this Sting replica. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, cheap plastic here though. But it's pretty cool. However, I don't think I'll be able to take that home. They won't like that at the airport. <laughs> Even if it's in my check luggage. I tried to take home a bunch of zip, Zippo lighters that students had given me one time. I had like 12 of them because, I don't know, I smoked and they all thought I should have some Zippos. And the airport security removed every single one of them. They stole them <laughs> out of my bag. And yeah, and I, I'm not going to have a lot of room to take stuff home. So I think I just won't be taking that home. 
All right, that's about it for here. Thought I'd show my apartment. By the time you see this, I won't be living here anymore. <laughs> I'm going to get a new apartment or maybe go home. Thanks, guys. What movie is this? So, any boogeyman? <laughs> Pretty scary, ain't it, Norm? Yeah, right. <laughs> Hey guys, Hades here. Okay, I'm in my apartment with a friend and colleague, and we were watching movie. We a movie. We he, he's come over several times and watched some movies. He's a friend and colleague. Let me show you. All right, introduce yourself. Hi, this is Rick, and the Rick is from the Walking Dead series, and yeah, that's all. Anything you want to say to the world? Uh, what I want to say to the world is I just want to say next time you you see a person from another country don't see that person he or her as a person from another country see him or her as a person like you on this planet because don't focus on all those cultural differences the food you you eat different food you have different habits but all, all those things are only at the surface level you have to uh, you have to focus on more things that you have in common like the desires you have the same desires same feelings you have so that's it we're we're on we're, you know people from different countries we are not that different actually we have, we're the same in many places so that's what I want to say to this world cool thanks man